Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Lee Ognanovsky and I am here to create this makeup look. So I have done a four part series of the Vault Collection that is being released from Morphe by Jaclyn Hill and this is the last palette that I have filmed. I have to say though, I didn't realize but I would be saving the best to last. I love, love, love this palette. This is probably my most favorite one out of all of them. I really love the way that the eyeshadow applied. I love the way that the color paid off and I also love the way that it blended. This one that I have used today is called Ring the Alarm. It is definitely more of an everyday eyeshadow palette look, especially if you are after warm sort of shades. This definitely is probably going to be one of my more favorite ones. So if you want to learn how I created this orangey smoky eye, please just keep on watching. Okay, doke. So now that I have my eyes as usual set, prepped and primed, I am going to zoom you guys in and give you a little closer look about what I'm doing. For the crease, I'm going to be going in with the shade Rush. It is a really warm orangey tone. I'm going to buff this into the crease and just really start to blend this in. This palette is definitely a lot easier to blend out for sure. This color initially as I'm using it for the first time has definitely been a lot easier to blend out than a lot of the other shades that I've used for my transition color. And I really love like the vibrancy of it too. So obviously with these eyeshadow palettes, like I mentioned, you don't necessarily have to do the one look with the one palette. You can obviously intermix each palette, but I just thought this would be a really great way to see all the different shades that we have. And if you are thinking about buying a palette individual, at least you know what you could sort of get from that palette. My MAC 217 brush and taking the shade Alert. This is a lot richer, almost terracotta. Just kind of like gives that sunken hollow eye look, which I actually really quite love. And then again, just extending that out also. And with no extra product on the brush, I'm just going to take the original Morphe brush and just blend the transition and crease color in together. I am taking the shade Alert and just tapping that outer corner so that when I go in with a deeper shade, there will be a really soft transition between the two shades. Then with my Napoleon, it's a flat brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Mugshot. This is very similar to the color Pukey that's in the original palette, which is probably one of my favorite colors. This is a little bit more of a cross between a brown and an orange. So you've got that real deep rusty sort of color rather than vibrant. So again, overextending that outer edge and tapping the color in also. I am going to start to lightly tap it into the center of my eye because I do want this to be a matte eye. Pukey was actually one of my favorite shades out of that whole Jaclyn Hill original palette. I just feel like that was always such a good shade and it never failed. Again, blending in with the transition brush. Just blending those shades in together. Now to just take that to a whole other level, I am going to grab a small bullet brush. This is my one from e.l.f. And I'm going to go in with the shade Top Secret. Now this is a really deep, rich, chocolatey tone. And I'm literally only going to take it on just that outer corner. Just using circular motions because I always like to deepen up these edges deepen up that area. I feel like it just gives it that little bit of an extra sultry look. And then once you feel happy with the color, you can just go over bits that if you feel need to be deepened up a little bit more. I am going to cheat and I'm going to go in just with my shade and light palette with the lightest shade here. And I'm just going to take just a small definer brush, which something small like that. And just to sort of lighten up this area because I love it, but I just want it to be just a little bit lighter and brighter just in this inner corner. 
I'm just going to run this over the top of what is already there. This is just a little bit of a cheat to sort of lighten up an area if you feel like it has gotten a little bit too dark for your liking. It's my favourite shade to use. go in and I'm just going to clean up the edges like I normally would. Okay so now that I am happy with the way that this eyeshadow is looking I am going to jump off camera finish off the rest of my face. Again like I mentioned in previous videos I'm going to be doing the exact same foundation routine as what I always do. You can tell that literally I've done the same makeup look for pretty much every single look. So I'm going to jump off and do that and I will come back on and do my under eye area. So now that I have my base and bronzer and setting powder and all of that sort of stuff on, I'm going to zoom you back in and I'm going to do my under eye area. I am going to be using the same palette as what I used on my lids. So far, I am seriously so in love with this palette. I feel like maybe this will be my most used palette out of them all. I just feel like it complements my eyes a lot nicer. And I just found that this palette was so much easier to blend and to create this eye look. I wasn't sort of fighting with the eyeshadow like I was with the other palettes. So I'm just going to zoom you in and I'm going to do my under eye. So taking the shade Secret, which is the darker shade here, I am going to be taking that onto a small definer brush and I'm just going to be running that along my lower lash line. And then just with my bullet brush again, I'm going to be using the shade Mugshot just to blend that out and soften. Then again with my shade and light palette, I'm going to grab that lighter shade again and just so it's in this palette, so it's this one right here. I'm going to take that shade and just pop that on the inner corner. See how it just brightens it up, but it's just a matte powder. Then again, taking my Revlon Ultra Volume Lash Mascara and just coating those lashes. Oh, I just love it. I actually really like this color. Now, because I am actually going out into the world with this makeup, I'm going out for dinner tonight, I am going to stick to my trusty lipsticks that I always use. So I'm going to go in with my lip liner, and this is from Milani. It is called Most Natural. I'm actually legit, this is all I have left. Like, it won't wind up anymore, and... I literally use it every day. And then I'll go in with my Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Loyalist with a little bit of Jeffree Star I'm Nude on top. Then once my lipstick is on, I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Okay guys, and that comes to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little four part series of the Jaclyn Hill palette. It was really fun to do a four different types of makeup looks without the stresses of filming my full face of makeup because sometimes that can take a little bit longer. It just really focuses on what my thoughts were on the palettes and how I created each certain eye look. And overall, I have to say the eyeshadow palettes probably aren't up to par with the original Morphe palette. I definitely will probably still go to grab that one before I would go to grab any other palette. I do find though that the original palette has a lot better formula and it was a lot easier to blend out and there is nowhere near as much fallout as this box set does. But with that being said, it definitely is not terrible. It is still an amazing product and it is definitely worth the money. If you do have the spare money to grab your bundle, I would highly recommend it because it has such a great range of shades and colors and and to be fair it is a great value point for product and the quality is unreal as well like I really don't have anything terrible to say about it I definitely am partial to Morphe I do find that their eyeshadow palettes are amazing and I really love them and for the pricing of them I do find them to be really worth the money so 
yeah, definitely would recommend it. Also, if you were wanting to purchase one palette, I have to probably pick the Ring the Alarm palette. I do think that I am going to get a lot more use out of this particular one considering the other two are a little bit less wearable more of a fun sort of eyeshadow look but yeah if you did enjoy this four part series and you would like me to do a different brand please let me know in the comments down below and also please give this video a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot if you are not subscribed to my online family please make sure you do the red bell button is right next door so you can hit that to be notified every single time I post a video and as usual all my social media links are down below you can come past and say hello to me over there you guys know I love it when you guys do but I really enjoyed these videos so I look forward to something new coming out and giving you my thoughts and my first impressions on them again but I'll see you guys in my next video bye